to put on the, the new Lego prosthetic that David made for me. My son was born different. His hands are fingers-like. Doctors call them digits. He has no knees and uh, he has four toes on his feet. Hello, Tare. Hello, Ignore. How's it going? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. My name is David Aguilar. I'm 22 and I hold the record for being the first to build a fully functioning prosthetic Lego arm. I was born with Pollan syndrome. It's a genetic disease that affects only one person out of 20,000. At first it might feel like it's not useful, but I use it every day on different things like working, doing stuff at the gym, building Lego. And when I was young, I suffered from bullying from some of my classmates. And yeah, I can say it was pretty hard uh, being the different one. Four years ago, I was lying in my bed and I was kind of bored. So I took a look at my room and I saw this Lego helicopter that was sitting on my desk and I decided to dismantle it. Every single brick was used to make my first prosthetic out of LEGO Technic. It's very simple actually. Once I pull my elbow up, the fingers close because there are some um, airline headphones that I wanted to reuse uh, and give them another purpose. And the mechanism is as simple as this. I don't need something very fancy working like mechanically um, just to move the simpler part of the prosthetic which is the front and then right here as I saw as I told before um, there's this like mountain that fits into my hand valley and when I close this little neck this little screw you can see the whole section fits to my arm as tight as possible and once I start hearing like a click okay that means that there's no more room inside and the prosthetic can be stilled and I can move it on my own. The only limitation that I had with my first prosthetic was that I only used one Lego set and this is why I don't have this challenge anymore because on my computer I design my prosthetics in a digital software called Studio and after that I can order the bricks and I can build something that I had on my computer a few weeks ago. So. These are all my five LEGO Technic prosthetics. Um, I placed them in order, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Um, and you can see a clear evolution. For example, on the hand, we first went from a grapple to bigger grapples and then to fingers. And then I decided to keep building in fingers. And on the gauntlet, for example, this part right here, when I fit, where I fit my arm, um, went from a square to an hexagon and then finally to an octagon. And I, I thought that this was the most comfortable shape and more Lego friendly because it's not very stressed on the bricks um, to, to, to make it work in order to fit my arm. It's my fifth iteration of the MK prosthetics. With only one click on this button right here, I can move the entire prosthetic. For you Hi. and behind. Your name. Your name. Vecno. Han Solo. Han Solo, that's me. Inspiration of Han. Thank you. You're welcome. Very much. I met Begnor's mother with an email because she sent us a photograph of, of uh, Begnor and she was telling us that she went to the doctors um, to ask for a prosthetic. Um, they thought it was very difficult to adapt something that should be functional they asked for help because maybe in the Lego world universe you can build a prosthetic for anyone, so I decided to give it a try. We were able to reproduce Begnor's hand with Play-Doh and then we tried to apply uh, my prosthetic to the hand and it worked perfectly, so I was able to um, reproduce the dimensions of the hand in my Lego software and I built what could be the first uh, prototype that 
can work with Begnor's hand, very light. Your mom told me that you can lift pretty much like uh, more than a tennis ball, if I remember correctly. And this prosthetic is lighter than a tennis ball. I wanted to ask you something. Do you think the colors look good for you? I think they look perfect. They look perfect. Okay, so you, you are a fashion guy like me, so does it fit your fashion standards? Uh, yes. Okay, so I have one more question for you. Okay. Do you want to see the prosthetic? Yes! I can hear you! Yes! Okay! <laughs> K hey, Begnor, this is the MK Begnor. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Let's see if it fits you. Okay. I thought about using yeah. your right arm. Right arm? Yeah. And your left foot. Left foot. Just to see just... if it works. Can you try? Oh, oh, it works! Oh, it works! Oh, Yay! Wait, give me five. Or well, give me two. <laughs> wait, what, uh, can I pick this up? Oh, 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 oh. Try again. Oh, this is super cool. It works. Yay! <laughs> Try and pick something smaller. Okay. Um. So, uh, we'll get this thing. Oh. Yay! Yeah, it, works. <laughs> it works perfectly. Yeah, and you know why? Because with Lego, everything is possible. <laughs> Begnor is pretty much almost independent because he can do anything. He built some Legos in front of me with his feet. And now that he has a functional prosthetic uh, arm, he will be able to make more things. So I just pull this uh, ring, ring, and then I, once I get like a good grip, I let it go and it closes and I get it. I'll Yay! And I'll no! The first and most important thing is self-esteem. When Beckner goes to school, he's comparing himself to other kids and uh, he gets disappointed when he can't grab something with prosthetic. He will get more functionality. Plus, uh, for himself, it's, um, you know, the Lego prosthetic looks cool. I am helping someone through Lego, through my knowledge about prosthetics and through my knowledge about Lego prosthetics. And I feel like that's a huge thing and I want to keep doing it for, for life. Fist bump! Yeah! <laughs>